All right, cut. Hey, my girls and roses. You already know who it is. This is your girl, Amber Rose, bringing you another love read. This here reading is going to be for all my lovers out there, from Capricorn to Sagittarius. Now, this may or may now this may or may not resonate with everybody. Uh-uh. If it resonates with you, then good. This is your story. If it don't, don't take anything personal. It's personal. Get a personal reading, all right? If you would like to get a personal reading, leave a comment down below. Or all the information will be in the description box below. If you would like to be a part of Amber Rose chat room, you already know what to do. All right, my babies, let's jump in here. Queen of Swords, King of Cups, Three of Pentacles, The Lovers, Three of Wands. There's a Queen of Swords here, a Libra energy here that's going in on this King of Cups. I feel like she want to know about a new beginning or about a baby or about you creeping. Oh, yeah, she's saying some very cutting words like she wants you to come and sit down and talk to her and let her know what's up. But I feel like King of, King of Cups, you could be a father energy or a lover. Like you turned your head on this person. You like shit. You looking at the three of pentacles on what happened in your relationship. I feel like there's three people in the room. You're trying to shine a light on your relationship. This could be a work-love relationship, work-lovers, whatever like that. But I feel like this could be, for some of you, a love triangle. Oh, yeah, definitely. I feel like somebody turned their back on this whole situation. They're no longer waiting. I feel like somebody's waiting to meet up with someone that... They want to have passion with. But like if you was dealing with two other suitors, you're not dealing with them anymore. Page of Pentacles, the devil, strength. Page of Wands, the magician. Yeah, there was some information that was spoken, could have been spoken to this Queen of Cups up here. About another lover. Or someone that you're obsessed to. Somebody here has some type of addictions. Could be addicted to alcohol, pills, somebody pop mollies, whatever. I just really pick up the energy heavy that somebody sexually attracted to someone. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Leo. Somebody's trying to give you the strength to see someone's toxic addictions or somebody don't want to be bothered with someone because they have addictions. I feel like you give this person strength to open their mouth and talk to you. You could be a speaker or this was over some wands, some, you know, somebody here that was here for a good time, not for a long time. I feel like somebody's trying to figure out how to manifest you back into their life. Somebody here that don't want to work on that old shit no more. They want to work on a new, new. They're looking at their money. Like somebody knows that they're dealing with a hoe. Two of Cups, this is true divine love between two people. But I feel like for some of you, this was dealing in a love triangle, so this could be dealing with a past lover. Whoever was dealing with an ex, a childhood friend, a past lover, whatever like that, it fell in reverse. They are no longer dealing with this ex anymore. Somebody wants the new new. I say a Libra because the Empress in reverse is a powerless woman. You have no power, no strength, no money. You can't take care of no children. You can't do shit. This is a codependent 
empress. This is a, a, a codependent mother, wife, mother, baby mama, I meant to say. I feel like somebody no longer wants to work on it with this person anymore. Or this could be you. Remember to reverse the roles, but don't make a story fit. If this is not your story, it's person. Get a personal reading, all right? We cool? Cool. I feel like somebody's done working on shit because Ten of Swords fell in reverse. We got the Eight of Wands traveling. We got movement here. Yeah, baby. Somebody's deeply, deeply hurt. Stabbed in the back over and over again with the lies. Yeah. Somebody here is in love with an Aries. Leo Sashi here, baby. This this queen here, <coughs> excuse me. This queen here takes action. Very sexy. She don't get off of her throne for shit. She's a go-getter. She get that money. She's a she's a she's a woman of power. She go get that. She's action, baby. Aries, go get them. Yeah, higher font. I feel like somebody wants to take this commitment up to a higher level. I'm talking about marriage. Yeah, but I feel like somebody here was being real, real sneaky. We had some sneaky ass energy. Somebody here was a whole fucking clown. In and out. Now I feel like somebody's hurt because they found out the truth about this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh yeah, this person, this air sign really hurt hurt you or your lover because it's some sneaky energy. I said there was some creeping off at the beginning of the read. You could be dealing with a Virgo, a Cancer, Libra, like I said. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, call them out. Yeah. Clarify the Empress in reverse, please, Spirit. Yeah, somebody here was juggling. They were juggling you and somebody else. For some, you could be juggling some finances, but I'm picking up somebody juggling um, a baby mama, a uh, um, wife, a uh, uh, Libra, a Taurus. Yeah, somebody here was very, very codependent. They was powerless. They had no money. They was weak as fuck. This is the type of person that just lean on you all the time. Somebody no longer wants to deal with this person. No working on it. No none of that. <coughs> Excuse me. Somebody could have even been married and found out this person was cheating or creeping or whatever. Yeah, look at that. The chariot, cancer energy here. Somebody here is ready to move out, move forward with their life. I just pick up the energy of somebody who just keeps calling somebody's phone over and over again. Be careful. I feel like somebody's moving around your car, playing with your tires and shit. Somebody might flat your tires or something like that. Yeah. Tell me more. Yeah, there's a star here. Somebody here could be literally a star. Could be a tarot reader or, or you could be dealing with Aquarius. I feel like somebody could be at home. You know, you can have a swimming pool in your backyard. You might be swimming or you might get in a whirlpool or jacuzzi or something like that. But I feel like there's a lot of healing that has been going on, especially in February. This could be a Cancer and Aquarius dealing, but I feel like somebody tried to stir up a lot of drama in your life. But, you know, spirit, God makes your enemy your footstool. So I feel like you had your foot on this person's neck. And you just decided not to deal with him anymore. So you poured out that love that you know that was no longer good for you. The shit was toxic. Somebody here could be getting a pedicure or, or you could be taking yoni baths. Whatever like that. But I feel like you have been just at home, you know, not trying to deal with this person. Or you've been doing a lot of praying. But I feel like somebody here is really, really done with somebody. They, they, she is. Somebody's ready to stand their ground in the situation here. Yeah, judgment. Somebody's calling judgment on this shit. Period. I feel like somebody want to move away to calmer waters with someone. But they have to cut somebody out. Somebody here can live out of town at a distance. Mm-hmm. 
but somebody needs to cut somebody ass off. I feel like somebody knows what somebody's doing. They they're being watched on a sneak side though. But I feel like this love triangle or or somebody here is letting somebody go. It could be raining where you are right now. I told you you could be dealing with a Libra. You know, um, you could be going through a divorce court system or whatever like that. Tell me more. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like somebody here, they want balance in their life. This is a lot of Libra energy here. Somebody wants balance in their life. And it, it, this definitely is a third party situation. This is a love triangle. I feel like there's somebody here that is a very good person. They would give anybody anything if they ask for it. But I feel like somebody was dealing with two people and somebody here lost balance. Period. Could be from Cincinnati, Washington, Kansas, New York, and Las Vegas, Nebraska. Uh-huh. They asked you to love them, and you did. For some of you, this is someone that you fell in love with. You don't have to be perfect for me. Yeah, someone feels like you're perfect just the way you are. Yeah, I feel like somebody knows a woman's worth. Compared to who they dealing with, a karmic. That ain't no shit. I wasn't ready for you. Yeah, I feel like somebody wasn't ready for you at the time or even now. They watch you on your social media sites, on your platforms, whatever social media you have. I'm hearing gang stalking. It could be one along with uh, others, family members, friends. I'm open to love. I won't wait on you. Yeah, period. Somebody here is single. Drop dead gorgeous, baby. And you like shit. I'm not going to wait on you, period. Yeah, I told you somebody's watching. They're spying on you. They're looking on your social media sites. Could be right past your house. Um, park down the street. Yeah, somebody's watching you close. What I say, I feel right on the cherry. Somebody's watching your house, baby. It could be two people. It could be a female and a guy. It could be that lover's lover that's stalking you out. Damn, pressed out hoe. Keep her looking, but you can't get in. Damn, who still does that? Motherfucker just park in front of somebody's house and waiting to see? Somebody got too much time on their damn hands. That's why they ass broke. The fuck out of here. Look at that private investigating asshole. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Pitiful. Pitiful. I feel like somebody here has a large platform or... Or somebody's watching somebody because somebody has a lot of options or whatever like that. I told you this stalking asshole. They just watch. They watch. But I feel like there's a guns here that knows what this person is doing. This whole got too many groupies and hoes. Yeah, and I feel like somebody's in a commitment, living arrangement, marriage or whatever like that. And somebody knows that somebody got too many hoes, just period. And that's that on that. That's why somebody is straight jumped off with the creepy. Mm-hmm. They they that crazy bitch outside. Period. Stalker life. Fuck why don't you hold? Just sit up here and stalk people all day. Crazy as hell. Tell me more spirit. <sighs> what up though, gang gang? Y'all shoot them thumbs up. Show your girl love. Welcome back. Welcome back. Y'all know I'm back in the building. They took that live or whatever like that. I jumped in so I could show y'all what's up, what's up, what's up. Yeah, look at that. Queen of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, um, Scorpio energy here. We got the king to the queen of cups. This is a, a true divine union between two people. This is love. Love, baby. This is somebody who listened to you, um, understanding. Yeah, somebody you could talk to. Just like I said, somebody here opened their mouth to somebody. Yeah, they have strength to because... Everybody can't talk to everybody. Yep, look at this. The sneaky fuck. Period. Dot. Somebody's watching you. But like whoever was in this love triangle, that other person is hurt. Because somebody's not paying that person uh, attention anymore. They no longer want to be involved with this person. 
I feel like somebody is mad because somebody took their love for granted here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody here is making a decision. They're kind of looking out on a lot of things that's going on in their life. I feel like there's somebody that's sitting by the body of water really just thinking about somebody. Somebody wants to make love to someone. Yeah, there's a uh, queen of pentacles here. Somebody that go get that money. This is wifey material. Uh-huh. Yeah. But I feel like this queen of pentacles, this wifey material, or this um, Capricorn towards Virgo female, um, I feel like you deeply hurt because you know that somebody was sneaking out on you. And now I feel like somebody here is having sleepless nights. They can't sleep. Because somebody told them a damn lie. Now I feel like somebody's getting ready to leave somebody out in the cold. That's all they do. I mean, I feel like somebody sits up at night. They cry, get headaches. But they know that they have to leave somebody out in the cold. Or somebody else left you out in the cold. However, whatever. But I feel like somebody's chasing up behind somebody. Begging them or whatever. Acting like they um lame and all broken and fucked up. Somebody here could actually have a broken leg. But I feel like it's somebody knows that when you leave or when your lover leave, they ass gonna be out in the five of uh, pinnacles energy, out in the cold, homeless, begging. And I feel like you know that this person is just codependent. Somebody's house is turned all upside down. It's all about the money. Too many people in the household. I feel like somebody's going through a tower moment. You was trying to avoid the tower moment, but the tower moment was. Something that you can't avoid. It's coming. Where the tower where I see it's a lot of Libra energy here. I, I heavily feel like somebody's going through a divorce or they're dealing with a Libra. Yeah, somebody's getting ready to leave a family situation out in the cold. Even some motherfucking family members that came up against them. This could be you. Somebody's like, fuck that. Yeah, this emperor right here. Yeah, this emperor went from a king to uh, to the emperor. This is a boss. All day, every day. Aries energy here. This is a man of ranks, a sheriff, a police, police officer, a literal, a literal, literally a boss. Own their own business. This man, this guns right here do not play no games at all. He don't have to get off his throne for shit. This is also a husband, a baby father, a father here. Yes, yeah, somebody here could be married, baby father, whatever like that. Somebody here is married and it's all about the money. Yeah. Somebody here could have gotten some money. They went from the five to the pen to the ten. Now it's a problem. Uh-huh. Somebody's holding on to the money or they acting real selfish about this money here. Uh-huh. Somebody's being blocked too. Yeah. Somebody's um, defensive. Gets these family members and all these... This lover, this toxic ass person up here that, that don't want to leave you the fuck alone that's conjuring up bullshit, her and her her family members and all this shit because her funky ass knows she get ready to get left out in the cold. I don't know who this for, but you your ass is out of here, Betty. Tell me more, spirit. Yeah, look at that. It's all over the ace of wands. Somebody want to make love to somebody else, and they already did, baby. Y'all already blew that shit up. That's just that on that. Period. Someone flip. Yeah, baby. Ace of Cups. These is all new beginnings. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. Yeah, somebody met somebody new. Shit. Y'all start kicking it. Shit. And I feel like this person found out. This Queen of Swords up here found out. And you and this person is banging right now. Y'all going in. Y'all arguing and fighting. Shit. And I feel like somebody here is sad because they was put in a love triangle. But shit, you got the two of cups right here behind you. Like somebody here is deeply, deeply sad. Because somebody was dealing with somebody who had one foot in, one foot out. Tell me more. Temperance. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Sagittarius in the Aries. Yeah, I feel like 
there's either an earth angel here or somebody could have lost their temper or they were just patiently waiting to find somebody new. But there it is, judgment. There's judgment on this new love and everything, baby. Oh, period, die. Plus, let me tell you something. This is spiritual. This is a spiritual union. You see that hand? That hand is spiritual right here. So this tells me more that this is a spiritual union between two people. All right? This is sent from, from spirit. This is just not somebody you meet out on the street. All right? That's why spirits call a judgment on this. Period. And you protected this union. This union that's coming in for some of you, you will know if this is your reading because um, you will feel it. This this union that's about to come together is going to be protected here, period. Yeah, somebody wants to come in with an offer or an apology. Uh-huh. Woo. Mm. Yeah, baby, because somebody here was pushing weight. Ten of wands in a household. That's the reason why I feel like somebody just pulled back their love. Just, they just waiting to cut somebody ass off. Somebody here is in a mental mind entrapment, a mental mind fuckery right now. I feel like somebody can't even show their face, or they couldn't at first show their face, but now somebody's like, now. Nah. Yeah, I feel like somebody's waiting to cut somebody ass off. And that's that on that, period. That. Tell me more. Yeah, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Could be a Scorpio. But I feel like, you know, this is my money man right here. Somebody here is all about materialistic things. And I feel like there's somebody here that has everything but love. There's no cups out here. Somebody was codependent. They was all about the money. And somebody's putting death to that shit. Period. Plus, I feel like somebody wants change. Going through a great transformation. Divorce. Somebody here could have lost a child. My condolences. But I just feel like somebody has been drinking a lot because they're going through a major ending. This is something major. I feel like um, somebody has a lot of love for somebody else and they wish it that they wish it to be with. And that's that on that. Period. That. Period. What up, y'all, my babies? So good to be back in the chat room, y'all. Let's pour some of my chat room. Yeah, this person here, they could be getting tarot readings on you. Somebody here is a pervert. They be messing around with underage girls and shit. Pedophile, who's this R. Kelly ass motherfucker here? I pushed you away to see if you would stay. Mm -hmm. Somebody found out somebody was messing with some underage girls. I want your attention. Yeah, this person, like I said, they could be calling you or texting you or thinking about you heavily. I never wanted this. Yeah, this person never wanted to be um, separated from you. I feel like for some of you, you two might have a date night. This is someone that has a big crush on you or you had a big crush on them. But I feel like this is someone that you're done talking to or your lover. Somebody could be traveling in to see you out of state. I told you somebody could be out of state or whatever like that. Y'all know my cars don't lie. People do. Do I still have a chance? Yeah, this is someone that haven't seen you in a while. They don't know if they still have a chance. But I feel like for some of you, you might get married. Yeah, somebody could actually be happily married. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, a Sagittarius. You're better than that. Yeah, this person knows that you're better than this love triangle or whatever. I feel like because somebody puts you in a love triangle, you're paying a hell of a karmic debt. And whoever your lover is dealing with, they jump into conclusions or somebody jump into conclusions about some children, a baby, or a pregnancy for some of you. I'm saying good things about you to my friends. Yeah, this person could be talking about you a lot. 
thinking about you, asking questions about you, especially if they haven't seen you in a while. And I told you, but some of you, this could be a spiritual couple. Absolutely. Sex only, please. The desire to be just friends. Yeah, somebody um could have just started out, um, you know, as friends, here for a good time, not for a long time. And I feel like somebody caught feelings. They asked you to love them, and you did. So I feel like um, somebody's dealing with two people. One person that's codependent, that's a gold digger, a promiscuous hoe. And I feel like the other person is genuine, loving, and supportive. And I feel like that's the one that you choose to be with because you no longer want to be with somebody that, that's not going to give you love. What the hell are we in this for? Why do people live with people just to be roommates or just for codependent situations just to pay bills? And there's no love there. Just holding up. Somebody's tired from somebody who can really genuinely, truly be that one. Look at that. I'm frustrated. Absolutely. Whatever was stolen from you, it will be restored. Somebody's under judgment. I feel like somebody could have stole your money or tried to break into your account. Or even getting your emails or whatever like that. Yeah, y'all be careful. Watch y'all shit because somebody here is hating on you. It's a karmic. Blinded by gossip. This person was talking behind your back. Somebody here has a two-faced ass friend that talks behind your back. Be careful. Yeah, they mad because you make somebody feel alive. Or you made somebody feel love again. Or you feel love again by this person. And I feel like somebody here could be putting a lock on their heart until further notice. Just period. Because like I said, if there was never no love, then of course you're just going to lock your heart up. Because shit, you're not going to just be open and let somebody hurt you if they're not giving love and, and you're giving love. I feel like somebody was putting in more into the relationship than the other. And I definitely said this could be a workplace love affair. Yeah, somebody feels like you belong to them or yeah. Or vice versa. Right now, I feel like somebody's hands is tied because they have um, responsibility somewhere else, whatever like that. And I told you, somebody here is very, very immature. They could be playing on your phone, um, scam likely calls, unknown numbers, block calls, playing on the phone. Who the fuck does that? Somebody has too much time on their hand. That's why don't nobody want your ass because you're too weak. Yeah, somebody here is juggling two households. And like I said, they were trying to have balance. By balancing two households, maybe one person was paying bills in both households. And that started to become overwhelming. And like I said, I don't care who you are. Can't no man or a woman hold down no love triangle. Not even a president. I don't give a damn. Uh-huh. Somebody know, knew that they came wrong when 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 they try to put you in a third party situation or they came wrong some type of way. And I feel like, you know, some of you you feeling happy, you know, you meeting new people, you leaving your dating options open, you open to love. I feel like you're building an empire. You know, you're putting your feelings in your bag and you're going to get that money. You know, like I said, some of you, you could be planning on moving or redecorating your house, getting new furniture, building more money. Yeah, you don't have time for that monkey ass shit. And I also feel like somebody could have found some panties either in a car or in a house. But some of you could be your own panties because somebody is still not over you. Just that on that. Somebody wants to take a leap of faith with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like somebody um, has, the, has the desire to win. And that's the reason why they could be snooping and watching you. Uh-huh. We both walked away from something that could be wonderful. I feel like both of you know this. I spoil him with my daddy's cash. Yeah, somebody here is dealing with a sugar daddy. Uh, like I said, somebody be getting that, that bread from a sugar daddy and she tricking on that next ninja. Just period. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, are you? Yeah, somebody wants you to be sorry too. I don't know why, but she what? Somebody feel like you're going to look for me because this is a love that's too hard to find, baby. This is a, uh, I'm made from a cloth that um, they don't make no more, baby. Cut straight from a cloth. 
Yeah, it hurts so bad that you're gone. I believe in you and I also believe in us. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, or Aries, the boss. But I feel like, like I said, somebody is playing victim. And um, there's some dark magic that has been done here. Somebody has been doing black magic on you, voodoo, or whatever like that. And I feel like somebody here is under a dark spell. And they're being controlled by this karmic. This karmic is doing this black magic every single day. They have to do it on a daily basis to keep you controlled, to keep you bound to them under their control. Uh-huh. That's for somebody, not for everybody. You know if somebody did black magic on your ass. I have been arguing with my karmic over you. Yeah, this karmic I already know. It's a wrap. Period. Now she talking that money. Here she talking that money talk. You just can't, you just keep doing your best and I will do the rest. Yeah, you just keep going, y'all. My guns and roses keep moving forward. Keep doing your best. Yeah, something happened on New Year's. Uh, change has came. A lot of change has come um, January the 1st on New Year's. Uh -huh. A lot of you have been healing from a lot of things that has happened in your life. Like even from childhood on up, I feel like a lot of you have healed all that. For some of you, you have healed from a sneaky friend. Somebody here could have uh, seen a sneaky text on your phone, on your lover's phone. And that was your red phone your red flags, but I feel like somebody here ignored those red flags. Somebody here could have even looked on somebody's phone and found out that they was on some type of drug or something like that. Had some type of addiction. Yeah. Someone is being forced to attack you maliciously by a third party. Yeah, watch your back, because this Carmen, she big mad, little mad. Don't nobody give a damn. Um, they trying to, um, set you up. I told you they was watching you from afar or whatever like that. This person is keeping tabs on you. You gave me an ego boost. You're hot. I was not planning for falling for you, but I did. Yeah, this person, I told you, they fell for you. Even if they was here for a good time, not for a long time, baby. Shit. They thought it was just going to be some friend shit. But you made them feel loved. You know, even if they was committed, they was in some type of, of commitment. It was karmic. It's karmic. Somebody's there just to, just for the money. Codependent. A gold digger. A user. A promiscuous hoe. Uh-huh. That's why I feel like somebody buries themselves into work to try and forget all about this person. Or, or this could be you. I want you. I crave you. I long to see you again. I won't tell you that I... That I want to show you. Yeah, I told you somebody's coming in. Let's get an outcome card for a uh, tarot. Whoo! Damn, it was split in three days. Never happened. So I'm gonna take her. Uh, yeah, this is definitely dealing with somebody uh, from the past, an ex. Um, could be a childhood friend or something like that. But it could be two kids involved here. I feel like somebody want to come in and offer you an apology or make an offer to you. I feel like there has been someone that has been on the battlefield. Somebody has been going to war for you or been going to war. And I feel like these are all kids. So that's the reason why you're going through what you're going through. If this is your story. Because somebody here is a knight and a king. Like that's so immature. That's teenage love. You hear me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, this person is upgraded. To the king of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagi, energy. Yeah, there are secrets here that has been illuminated under the, under the moon. Yeah, these secrets has came out. Yeah, dealing with the empress here. My, There's something about a mother. A uh, uh, baby mother, a wife. Libra Taurus here. There could be a mother here that could have passed. My condolences. Or it could be a father. Or... or Somebody here is in deep, deep thought about their mother, baby mother, wife. Like, I feel like somebody is in a dark place right now, and it hurts. Like, I feel like somebody's went through, somebody has went through a great ending. Hey, hello, hello, hola, hola, hello, hello. Yeah. 
See, and then like I said, it's been a lot of communication, fast movement. Movement. Somebody's deeply, deeply hurt about their mother, wife, baby mama, or this empress. And this Aries Leo Sagi, he knows what's going on. You hear me? And I feel like he don't want to make love to nobody but just that one person. And I feel like he's watching her. Now this could be you. But first they know that they have to get balanced in order to have this union. Because like I said, somebody here um, has to let go of one person. Because it's all about the money. Somebody wants to be happy. Could be even a child involved. I feel like somebody wants to go towards somebody that's that's real tough, like a thoroughbred, a thoroughbred baby, strong like a horse, baby. Just period. That on that. Somebody here could be getting locked up or going to jail, or somebody here is very, very protective over this person that hurt them. Because I feel like somebody wants to move to calmer waters with somebody else. You could be traveling out of town or whatever like that. But I feel like somebody could either pop up on you, surprise you, or whatever like that. But I feel like somebody's coming in. You hear me? All right. That has been your reading with your girl, Amber Rose. If you would like to get a personal reading, um, leave a uh, comment down below. Or all the information will be in the description box below. All right. Thank y'all so much for joining your girl, Amber Rose. You hear me now? It's always a pleasure. Y'all make sure y'all keep hitting those thumbs up sporadically throughout the read. Support. You hear me? All right? Peace, baby.